Hi, bonjour, salam, namaste. Yes, that's hello in the four languages I speak. Can you guess them? I'm Zara Zaher, so passionate about traveling that I even love spending time at airports. Now, in fact, once a travel agent told me that I may have to stay overnight at an airport, but that was of no concern to me. I smiled and accepted it with satisfaction. Born in Afghanistan, I lived in India for six years and having traveled extensively around the world, I feel I'm very comfortable in approaching people of various backgrounds to gain an insight into their journeys and experiences. Now, news and storytelling are my passion and as a journalist, I get to indulge in these interests regularly by writing and reading live to air radio news bulletins and interviewing talent. So if you're after a presenter with a desire for stories, a love of travel and a positive global attitude, then look no further. Hello, I'm Zara Zahir with the latest news headlines. The federal government announces extra funding to childcare. Victoria Police launch anti-terrorism raids in Melbourne's southeast, and the world gets its first glimpse of the royal baby, Princess Charlotte of Cambridge. In sport, we'll cross live to Melbourne Park for the latest on the Australian Open. The weather for tomorrow, mostly sunny and a top of 27 degrees. Join me for all the details next. As the coffee capital of Australia, Melbourne offers a wide selection of cafes. But if there's one place coffee lovers can truly awaken their senses, it's right here at I-25 Espresso Bar. Rated as Melbourne's best cafe in the Australian International Coffee Awards, this trendy little cafe in the heart of St Kilda is the place to be. The freshly ground beans, the sound of frothing milk, it's an espresso enthusiast's heaven. Whether you're after a quick coffee or a relaxing coffee catch-up, then you can't miss this place. From their signature espressos to lattes, cappuccinos, long blacks, if you love an excellent coffee, then this little gem is not to be missed in our city. There are more than 160 artworks by artists from various backgrounds and ages. And what makes the exhibition unique is that the subjects are marginalised by their ethnicity or disability.